Welcome to the Akamai Partner Roundup. Akamai 9001, will you please deploy our applications? I'm sorry, I can't do that. Do what? What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. I've already completed it. Oh, okay. With Cloud Manager, I can spin up servers in seconds connected to the most distributed edge network on the planet. I also took the liberty of upgrading to our new premium instances to guarantee the highest level of performance for CPU intensive or latency sensitive workloads. Wait a minute. I want to come and check this out for myself. everyone, it's Hillary, Director of Product Marketing for Cloud Computing. We just made a few big announcements. First up, there are new sites in Washington DC, Chicago, and Paris. These new sites are the standard moving forward with a new Akamai architectural design, upgraded AMD EPIC processors, and significant capacity increases. In fact, these three new sites more than double our global capacity. We're hoping to continue the trend with Chennai, Seattle, and Stockholm coming soon. Second on the list, premium CPU instances guarantee compute resources based on a minimum processor model that is easily upgraded to a newer hardware model once it's available in the fleet on the new sites. Third, we've expanded our storage services per region, per account, by increasing the max storage limit by 200x. Basically, you can store more files, more data, or just more things as part of your overall storage needs for your growing business. Apache Kafka is like a high-speed, highly reliable train station for data events. It handles countless trains or events, traveling at lightning speed, efficiently sorting, storing, and distributing them to destination services. Its importance is skyrocketing at the moment due to the growing data traffic we're seeing in real-time applications. In this video, dev advocate Gardner Bryant gives a good technical overview of what it is, how it works, and why it's so important. Airbnb utilizes Kafka's event pipeline for exception tracking. Shopify uses Kafka to handle their logs, domain events, metrics, and customer reporting. Square's Kafka implementation touches all of their critical systems, moving all events through various data centers. And finally, Firefox's telemetry system relies on Kafka's high throughput to collect and analyze usage statistics and test results. Our next piece of featured content is a training course all about monoliths. And how to move from a monolith to a cloud native microservice architecture. So it covers how to master Docker, Kubernetes, service oriented architectures, and takes a look at the applications the Cloud Native Computing Foundation think that you should know about. It's a brilliant way for you or your team to upskill. It's available on demand, and best of all, it's totally free. Well, we're going to be taking a look at some CNCF projects. The landscape itself is continually evolving and huge. We've all seen this diagram, nobody understands it completely, and nor should you. One of the things I want you to take away from this course is that we should be identifying the problems and finding the tooling that is commonly and widely adopted by other organizations so that you're not building any new paths on your own. In this video, product manager Justin Cobbett appears on TFIR, the popular channel for developers, DevOps, and cloud engineers. His topic of choice, data. Specifically, he compares big data with small and wide data. He also charts its evolution, its value, and the role that AI and machine learning play when it comes to interpreting it. I really like this one from Justin. Be sure to check it out, link below. One of the big things going on right now uh, is there's a uh, kerfuffle at Reddit. Uh, people are very upset with some changes to the site. And one of the reasons is they are going to be using that site more to sell their information to training large language models. They want a piece of that. That's one of the reasons their API has changed. Just like choosing your favorite sweets from a pick a mix or candy for our US audience. 
as a tech service provider, it's important you're aware of why and when it makes sense to look beyond the big three cloud giants for your infrastructure as a service and platform as a service needs. Join us for a 25 minute quickfire LinkedIn Live on Thursday, August the 10th, where we'll unravel the benefits of cloud choice and dive into an example of cloud native open source alternative design to AWS managed services. Don't miss this one, link below. Last but not least, in August, you'll find us among three and a half thousand developers at Developer Week Cloud X. We're at the in-person event from the 15th to the 16th, and then again at the virtual version from the 22nd to the 23rd. I will see you there. Thanks for watching. Whether you're an existing partner or not yet, if you found this useful, please hit like and subscribe. If you're totally new to Linode and Akamai, head on over to our partner page for details of our program and a link to grab $500 of free cloud credit to try us out. Why not spin up a sandbox environment, do some testing, play with our security apps in the one-click marketplace. Have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.